I'm John Pritchard, I teach at the Spires College in Devon in Torquay and it's an 11 to 18 school. I'm passionate about core maths because it's a qualification that has so much relevance to the students. It's kind of the maths that I wish I'd been taught at school. Things like the financial maths in particular, the tax and national insurance. I remember getting my first pay slip at 18 and thinking, where's half my money gone? And had I known about all the deductions and things that came out, I'd have been more prepared for that. So that is one of the reasons, and the critical analysis as well, is so useful to be able to read beyond the headlines that we see all the time where statistics are just thrown at us and graphs are thrown at us, that we can train them to read through all of that and just get to the real story and the real picture that the media are trying to hide quite often. I think one of my favourite core maths moments has been when students start coming up with their own questions from a context that we've started or a problem that we've started and then they just run with it and it goes in a direction that I would never have thought of in a million years and they and it goes in such a direction it's like okay that was interesting and I'm we just would never have thought of that and they can come up with some amazing ideas themselves. My top tip for teaching core maths is if you don't know ask for help. Twitter is amazing if you just use the hashtag core maths and core maths chat somebody will get an answer to you very quickly or tag Cat and Tom they'll find someone who knows the answer even if you don't or has a resource that is exactly what you're looking for so that you're not doing it on your own because it can feel very lonely and solitary in a school where you might be one of only two people that teaches it or if you're on your own you've got nobody to bounce ideas off the twitter community is incredible make use of them one of the main challenges that i've had with core maths is where we do it in one year we get a lot of students moving course in September, realising I don't want to do core maths and dropping it to do psychology or dropping photography to come and join core maths midway through September. And I one year started with new content in the first few weeks to try and engage them in something different from GCSE and they all missed that that moved in that year and we never quite caught back up and they never got that content back properly um, and so now I wait until the class list is settled in October before starting new content so we use September as a review of GCSE all the basics that they need of the statistics or the percentages and I will use my finance project in September as a sort of introduction to finance but without going into the details of the personal allowance of, national, of income tax and we do those calculations later but just as a you lose some of your money so take about 75% as your take-home pay and then we do the proper calculations later on in the term. 